of this room gets worse every time I film in it. Like, honestly, if you could see the floor. Mortified is one word for it. Messy is probably the main one. And ultimately, I'm just really excited for Christmas to be done. <laughs> so that my floor space is tidy, like, is that really sad? Because obviously Christmas is so low-key this year. I'm actually just quite excited for the mess to be, like, gone. I've never said that before. What has happened to me? 2020 has turned me into Scrooge, but I just can't deal with the lack of floor space because of all the gifts. But hello, welcome to a weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday and it is beautiful weather outside. I do think it makes such a difference to like, not even my mood, but like my productivity. I get so much more done when the weather is good. I don't even know why. Like I wake up and I see that it's sunny and my room is like nicely lit and I'm like, let's get going. Let's crack on because I think it's just like, I don't know, I just have more like um anyway thought we would start the vlog i have got ready i've got my hair in a ponytail because it really needs washing i've got my hair into this pretty good habit of like being able to go about five or six days without a wash probably five six would be really pushing it this is day four it's greasy but it's not super bad like it's not it's not disgustingly bad so i'm gonna wash it tomorrow but yeah let's just ignore the hair i'm not doing anything today other than going to return something which i'm actually about to go and do now and i'm also filming a clip for my my secret santa video that went up on thursday so we're all buying our secret santa gifts today other than that i'm not really doing anything but i thought i would just open my advent calendar because once again i haven't done it in a while and i feel like it's a nice start to the festive vlogs even though i know it's quite repetitive i like this section because it is always different even though it's like the same it's always different products so here we go i can't believe that when you're watching this it's like what is it five days till christmas it just doesn't feel like it this year. I don't know why. I feel like December's just kind of come and gone and then that's it. It's like done. Right, I'm going to open this and then show you the product. Okay, so the products that I've got in my glossy box box. I feel like I also matched the glossy box today in this pink jumper. Um, but I've got one hand cream by a brand I think called E Cooking. I then have a Frank Body Miniature Coffee Scrub. Again, all of these like match my vibe today. A brow pencil by MUA and a Sunday Riley Good Jeans Glycolic acid treatment sunday riley is expensive so like that that's pretty good i like showing you what you get in these just so that if you do think about buying one for next year like you kind of know the kind of stuff that you're going to get because i do genuinely think it is worth the money you do get really really good products time for the body shop oh, let's go again as pair we're a few days behind so we'll just do it in one go and then i'll show you them okay it's apparently been even longer since i've opened the body shop one and there's some really good bits in here so the first one is the pink grapefruit shower gel again matching the pink vibe everything is like cutesy and pink and then in addition to the banana shampoo that i vlogged in last week's vlog i've got the banana conditioner the berry bath blend bath foam i don't really know yeah that you put this in the bath i'm excited about this one the vitamin c energizing face mist i feel like that is a bit of me like i hope it energizes me oh my god that smells so nice i've then got the happy go lash mascara matches my vibe as well along with this which also matches this is the matte lip liquid in the shade nairobi and i'm pretty sure i do already have this and then lastly i've got the nicaraguan coffee awakening mask i do struggle with the pronunciation of quite a lot of body shop products because they're like super exotic very excited and i genuinely do think again the body shop is definitely worth the money the advent calendar is so good like you can see these aren't they're not cop out days do you know what i mean like full size products so a little advent calendar update and now i'm gonna go head into town to return something and to buy my secret santa gift Hello guys, I have been a bad, a bad vlogger today. It is 11 p.m. And I just honestly haven't had anything to film. I do feel as though I do sound like a stuck record when I tell you this, but honestly, all I've done today is edit. I am about to take my makeup off, hence why it is smudged all over my face. And I do have retainers in which is why i sound dead lispy and i get quite a lot of questions about my invisalign slash my retainers so i thought i would just answer them please do just ignore the lisp because that's just what happens um so those of you that have watched for a while will know that i had invisalign with your smile direct last year and i wore them solidly for about three months 
and then I got pretty bad at wearing them just because they're not easy to maintain when you're on the go a lot like you have to take them out every single time that you eat and clean them and then put them back in and I found that quite difficult to remember to do so then I started wearing them less which was bad like I definitely shouldn't have done that that was a mistake I made first with my retainers um, and now I do just wear them as a retainer set because to be honest I'd got like probably three quarters of the way through the treatment so my teeth have definitely moved I can feel that they move they've moved because when I put these ones in they're quite tight now the issue that I have with my teeth and the reason that I am still like not 100% happy with my teeth isn't anything to do with the fact that they're not fully straight because like they are they are quite straight especially compared to what they used to be because I used to have such awful teeth like when I was younger I had braces for two years they were just a mess like my natural teeth are always fighting to go back into the position that they were in which is like super super wonky like really really wonky I'm not just talking like oh a little bit like I had braces for two years they were really bad and then braces like fully fixed them and then I just got lazy with my retainer which is why when I was offered Invisalign I was like yes because it'll just straighten them back out that little bit more which it has but my insecurity is more with the bottom of my teeth like I get a lot of comments saying you've chipped your tooth like oh how did you chip your teeth I haven't chipped my tooth they're just not straight naturally like at the bottom of my teeth they aren't they're not straight they never have been they're like really wiggly they're kind of just like a weird shape and annoyingly when I got my braces off my dentist said to me do you want us to file them down for you so that they're all level and 13 year old me was like no thanks <sighs> don't know why I did that so I am actually looking into getting composite bonding composite bonding I think that's how you say it done in the new year I have a friend that's had it done and it looks amazing on him and when I saw him I was like oh my god like what have you had done to your teeth and he was like oh, I've had composite bonding and I was like oh my gosh I've not even heard of that and I'm not really like I don't want anything fussy doing like I don't want veneers or anything like that and I'm not really that interested in getting any other kind of like it's not surgery but you know like things sorted out on my face like I'm just like this is my face and this is how it is kind of thing. But I do want to sort my teeth out because I've had so much effort going into them this far that I kind of just want them to be perfect. So I think in the new year I actually might look into that. Let me know if any of you guys have had it done or if you know anybody that has and any positive or negative reviews. And anywhere in the north that is good as well. Like I'm willing to travel to like, I don't know, Manchester if need be because I've seen a lot of like dentists based in Manchester that do it. Obviously when I'm allowed to do that. But yeah, just thought I would have a teeth chat. Not very, not very festive, not very interesting but I do get a lot of DMs saying like, what happened to your invisible? Invisalign, do you wear Invisalign, blah blah blah. The answer is I wear in my Invisalign every night as retainers. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed now. Actually that's a lie. I'm gonna watch Broadchurch. I've started watching Broadchurch about seven years late to the party, but I'm watching that at the moment. You know how I love a true crime crime genre. But yeah, I thought I would have a teeth chat whilst I have my retainers in and yeah, I kinda want advice to be honest. I want recommendations, positive, negative, honest ones about composite bonding. I know it's quite expensive, but I think it's like, I think it's gonna be worth it. Good morning, good morning. Hi, it is Wednesday. I did actually curl my hair. Where did the curls go, you might ask? Well, whenever I curl my hair when I've washed it fresh that morning, it just doesn't hold a curl. Like, it's too soft to hold a curl, so it does look a bit, Woo! But I'm actually heading into Hull this morning. Why am I out of breath? Why am I out of breath? I didn't particularly want to do this. In fact, I try to actively avoid Hull city centre where possible. Don't like going at all really. Needs must because it's Christmas and I had ordered this coat for Tom and I can say this because he knows that I've got him here. I like got him to pick this coat off the Top Man website ages ago before it was announced that Top Man were going into administration. Anyway, so this coat arrived and it was way too big and I was like, oh my God, that just like looks ridiculous. I'll send it back and I will swap it for the right size. However, I ended up not sending it back because I couldn't be bothered. So I gave it to my dad and to be honest, I just couldn't be bothered with the whole returns process. I know that they're struggling. They're not taking returns or they're exchanging things instead and I just thought, you know what? I'll just rebuy the right size. My dad really likes this coat and I'll get Tom the right size of the same coat. Ordered it online, all good. Get an email 10 days after I've placed the order and the payment's been taken saying that the order's been cancelled and I, I'm gonna get a refund, which is so annoying because I know that they have this coat in the top man in Hull because I saw it last week and I was like oh that's so jokes that it's right there when I've got one on the way I could have just come and bought one so now I'm going in the hope that they still have that coat because if I if I don't get it I don't have like a main gift for Tom because it's quite like it's not super expensive oh Harry's about to block me in 
Right, I need to go because I need to swap cars with Harry. I'll get back to this conversation in a minute. End of story, basically. I'm going to haul in the hope of getting this coat that I did order once already, uh, twice already actually, and, and haven't yet got the right one. And my worry is that this is like Tom's main gift because it's quite like a dress coat, like it's quite smart, but it's kind of like a main gift. So I'll be a bit gutted if I don't get it for him. So I'm going to really try and I'm also going to pick up some very last minute bits that I need that are just like, you know, the kind of bits that go with other gifts, like chocolates, alcohol i just need to buy like a couple of bottles of wine for people so i'm just gonna do it in one trip because i'm sick of christmas shopping now like usually i'm so festive i am the festive fairy but this year as i already said yesterday i kind of just like i'm a tiny bit over it <laughs> just because nothing's really happening i'm sure actual christmas week will be great but right now i'm a little bit over buying and wrapping gifts so we're gonna go to hull might listen to taylor swift's new album in fact who am i kidding i'm definitely listening to taylor swift's new album Got the coat, all good, thank god. Also got my alcohol that I needed and I also got some gift bags. Although it was chaotic, I will not lie. Good lord, good lord. Nothing about that was enjoyable, nothing at all. It was just so busy. It wasn't as if there was like tons of people in groups because there actually wasn't. Like everybody was pretty much either on their own or in a pair. And obviously it's school time so there's like no kids but like i think they've actually made the process worse because you have to queue outside for a lot of the shops the like main walkway in the shopping center is really busy because everybody's queuing outside for the shops and then when you get in the shops they're like empty because everybody's queuing outside once you're in it's absolutely fine but once you're like when you're trying to get in it's just a nightmare one place that bizarrely was empty was starbucks so i got myself a cheese and ham croissant which i do really like from here and I also got a mocha, but now I'm thinking like, do I want a hot drink? I'm melting. I'm gonna actually drive home without my coat on. I think credit to you if you're working in retail right now. Oh. Do, 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 oh. So I've walked back through the door and look who's sat ready to greet me. But actually what she's doing is waiting for dad to get back from Lidl. I was like, oh Lottie, this is such a nice welcome. Nope, she's just staring at the door waiting for my dad. She doesn't care if I come in or not. The only person she wants is dad. You looking for dad? Where is he? Oh bless her. So guys, all of my Christmas wrapping is done and I know that I've said that before. And I also just really quickly wanted to show you these. Lily England sent me this yesterday and it just looks like a case. In fact, it doesn't really look like much, but it's actually filled with the most beautiful makeup brushes. So if I take its little hat off, it's got this little thing. How cute is that? So it's like, it comes with the makeup pot and it's got a little lid. So yeah, thank you so much to the team at Lily England. I really like this. I can't believe that they wanted to send me something. I don't know why, but Lily England was one of the first brands I ever saw working with like YouTubers, kind of like the big YouTubers back in like 2013, 2014. And then they were like, oh, do you want some of our makeup brushes? And I was like, wow, my 14 year old self would be shook. Yeah, thank you so much to the amazing team at Lily England. The girl I was emailing was really lovely, so. Yeah, they also sent me a hairbrush. To be honest, you should see the state of the hairbrush I currently own, so I'm actually really glad I just got sent a new one because mine is really gross. We have decided that tonight we're gonna watch a movie on our little projector, which we've managed to set up. It was a bit complicated because we forgot how to do it, but we remembered we got there and we are watching The Grinch, which actually I hadn't seen until quite recently. So this is the newer um, 2018 cartoon version with Benedict Cumberbatch. I saw it in the cinema. Um, I actually saw it when I lived in Leeds and it is, it is a good film, but my family have never seen it. So we're streaming it to the wall. And we're gonna have a little Christmas movie night, but I do just think it looks pretty cute. Harry and I have paid for the cheap seats in the wings where you've got like a pillar blocking your view, you know? Oh wait, I forgot what the theater's like, so I can't even remember, but this is the view. <laughs> It's fine. Nah, it's quite festive. Do you want to move the sofa? Do you think you could do it with me on it? Yeah. Do you actually? <laughs> okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. We've now been upgraded to front row seats. I also feel like this Grinch is just Sherlock Holmes. Even though he's not Sherlock in this, I feel like he is just always Sherlock. Good morning, hello. It is Thursday. 
it's actually Thursday. Thursday afternoon now it is half past one and I went for a walk with my friend Erin this morning. Um, she hasn't been in the vlogs for the longest time and I did take my camera. I actually did anticipate to vlog. I just didn't. <laughs> I completely forgot. Um, we were just catching up. I haven't seen her in ages. A lot of my friends are all still like, like at university. To be fair, most of them have been back for ages now but like they're all still like actually actively doing their degree. Or also a lot of my friends are in third year so it's like really, really stressful. But it was so lovely to catch up with Erin. It is the most beautiful day. We went for a five kilometer walk. So like we were out quite a while, but it was just stunning. Like the weather is beautiful. I'm gonna go for another walk with the dog just because I think I said this earlier in the week, but when the weather is good, it makes me wanna utilize it and like go on loads of walks. Just shooted shooted just shot a brand deal for glossy box which was super last minute but sometimes i like doing that kind of brand deal i just think like you know random brands that come through and want to work with me the same day almost usually that's quite good because it's like unexpected especially right now when i'm not busy so i can always like say yes to them because i have time so yeah just worked with glossy box that's why it's here sent that over to my manager so hopefully that will probably have already gone live by the time you see the vlog because it's like a before christmas kind of brand deal a lot of brands are really busy this time of year so it does come through quite last minute and i like to kind of put that across in the vlog so that you know what kind of style of job it is behind the scenes because my manager emailed me last night i was already like ready for bed and was like oh can you get this turned around in the morning and i was like oh yeah i can so yeah it's it's a fast turnaround a lot of the time and then other times things are months and months in the planning and it's there is no in between but, like i posted a brand deal this week with pantene that's been ongoing since october um, and i've been working on that since october because it wasn't something that could be done overnight there was a lot of like i don't know it was just very thorough anyway got a cup of tea just finished it actually and i'm gonna go and continue to edit the video that went up on thursday which was my secret santa gift swap and then i'm gonna walk the dog again because just look at this the most beautiful sky shame we can't really go out and utilize it because we're still in tier three boys three not two three boris just did the tier announcement again but are we shocked are we surprised no not really i had kind of held out hope that we might go into tier two but then in the last couple of days i was like absolutely not not gonna go off on a massive rant about how it sucks to be northern right now i've done that all week on instagram and i think a lot of other people in the north feel equally as frustrated and what's really grinding my gears this week i said i'm not gonna go off on a rant <laughs> here we are the issue that i'm finding is that in the north the whole county is being lumped into tier three because the cities are bad so for example i don't live in the city i don't even really live in the town like i live out of the town which means that obviously cases here are lower i completely understand that in cities there are higher however down south they've sectioned off individual parts of the county so parts of Essex and parts of Hertfordshire are in tier three but not the whole county but up north the whole county is just in tier three and it's like they've just not looked at the data and the research for the the rural areas because there are a lot of rural areas but anyway I'm not the government so we can't do anything about it so I'm not going to talk about it anymore but yay tier three Christmas what Let's go, boys and girls. I've said I'm not going to complain like 80 times, but all I have done is complain, so we are actually going to go and edit now. There we go, we're out walking Lottie. I feel like this is how I've looked for the entire year. This hat and coat combination. Oh, she's seen a squirrel. Ah! <laughs> um, yeah, I've worn this coat and this hat nine times out of ten every single time I've gone out. I do actually think I just always look <laughs> like this, so yeah. But we're walking Lottie, it's such a nice day, as I already said, the sky is so blue. Winter when it's like this is so, like, nice, although it's still freezing cold, but you know. But winter when it's rainy and cold is horrible. Oh, we've lost the dog. Lottie, come here. Okay. Where's she gone? Come on. Up here, good girl. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here because, once again, as per classic Molly, I've just got to the end of it and I have not ended it, um, which is so regular at this point i feel like you're not surprised i'm so sorry this vlog has been all over the shop i feel like i just haven't really filmed that much this week i am going to be vlogging next week so obviously christmas eve christmas day i'm going to vlog that as kind of a normal weekly vlog because i really like looking back on those i know some people like take the whole of christmas off and i do i don't want to be editing i don't want to be working but i do want the memories to look back on so that vlog will be up next week as well as two christmas eve videos including a gift swap with tom it has been so requested there is one coming on christmas eve so i'm very excited for you to see that i'm so excited to film it yeah subscribe to our channel down below if you're not already and i should be back on tuesday thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed the final weekly vlog before christmas give it a thumbs up if you have and i shall see you all on tuesday with another festive video bye guys